Here we have two free audio editing tools and Hindenburg, and they all need to do the exact same job. Import audio, and we're not even going to get into actually recording here. Edit mistakes in the recording from a script. Add theme music. Arrange the story and the music. Remove microphone bleed, which is a really common mistake when you have more than one microphone open at a time. Set the audio levels correctly so we have a nice balanced mix. Make the audio sound good for the listeners. And this is typically done with equalizers, compressors and noise reduction. Then we need to add some ID3 tags to the podcast. We need to export it as an MP3 at minus 16 LUFS to keep within the podcast standards. And finally, we need to upload it to a podcast host. Let's see what happened.
As you can see, all the programs got the job done. Well, nearly. GarageBand has no noise reduction. And furthermore, it has no loudness normalization. So you'll need to do that later on. But as it would require an additional tool or service, it falls outside of this challenge. But it would take some more time. Audacity did get all the tasks done. It would require a lot of know-how on your part to learn all the tools, as they are made primarily for audio editors, with more knowledge about audio plugins than most. But in fairness, all the tools are there. All the tools in Audacity are destructive. Keep that in mind, so it can be a bit tricky to tweak them or make changes. In comparison, all the edits and effects in Hindenburg are non-destructive. This gives you the freedom to try things out, move things around and be a bit playful. That said, it's not free. Keep in mind this is only a 5 minute piece. And even with this rather simple editing challenge, the time saved by using the right tool is significant, as we can see. And time is valuable. So, what would you do if you had a little more time?